if you want to set up a new tank, you need to learn these things. Intro, paso! So, uh, nitrogen cycle. Ammonia. Nitrites. Nitrates. Beneficial bacteria. Ammonia is also known as NH3. Nitrite is NO2. So these are the terms that you need to understand when you set up your new tank. So assuming you bought a new fish. You bought a new fish. Forgive my drawing. <laughs> and this fish will eventually poop. Magpupoop yung isda mo. This poop will be converted into ammonia or NH3 and when you feed your fish also some of the uneaten foods will also become NH3 one of your fish dies one of your fish dies dead fish dead fish it will decompose and eventually will turn into an H3 so how it, how will an H3 be uh, eradicated from your uh, aquarium we all know that ammonia is a very harmful to our fish this is one of the most dangerous chemical that you can uh, accumulate in your tank that's why eventually as your tank age as your tank ages rather beneficial bacteria will colonize your tank beneficial bacteria this bacteria here will colonize your tank so saan 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 may kita yung beneficial bacteria saan sila nagko-colonize uh, beneficial bacteria will colonize uh, pretty much anything in your aquarium that has a surface area that they can attach themselves. They can attach themselves to your plants, they can attach themselves to your uh, filter media such as your sponge filter, your uh, filter wool, your ceramic rings, and uh, your substrate, the stones that you have in your aquarium, and the live rock. Uh, live rock for salt water system but in fresh water uh, you can say uh, driftwood so beneficial bacteria will colonize those uh, things in your aquarium this bacteria will eat your ammonia okay beneficial bacteria will eat your ammonia and subsequently turn them into what nitrite nitrite is the second stage in the nitrogen cycle in your aquarium so nitrite or NO2 sorry NO2 is produced so nitrite so is nitrite harmful yes nitrite is also as harmful as ammonia it can also be considered as one of the most dangerous uh, comp uh, compounds that you can have in your uh, fish tank so if nitrite will remain at large in your system your fish will be bye-bye so what happens to the nitrite nitrite is again being denitrified or uh, being consumed by the beneficial bacteria beneficial bacteria again beneficial bacteria so somebody asked me how can we put beneficial bacteria in our tank Yes, you can. You can hasten their growth. You can uh, put some. Some uh, there are available uh, beneficial bacteria solutions in the market today. But uh, in a natural process, the beneficial bacteria will just uh, automatically appear in your uh, in your aquarium over time. So uh, usually, it takes uh, two to three months, as I know, for a for a for a good colony of beneficial bacteria to colonize your tank and make it as stable. 
So uh, back to this nitrite. Uh, beneficial bacteria will consume your nitrite and turn it into nitrate. Nitrate is the third and last step of the nitrogen cycle in your in your in your fish tank. Nitrate or NO3. So nitrate by now is not as harmful as a uh, nitrite and ammonia that we have but we need to take this away from our system as well so how can you take your nitrate away from your system of course by doing regular water changes water change your tool take away the nitrate from your system so how much water change should you do I don't know. It depends on how uh, on how uh, is your system being set up, what kind of livestock you have, how uh, big or small your tank is. There is not one person on this earth that can tell you, oh, you should only change 20%, you should only change 30%, 10 or 15% a week or twice a week. It all depends. You need to observe what your tank needs and. and and make it survive and uh, make it stable so water change if you want to know uh, how to change the water in your tank I have a video video in the I have made a video about this one so you better check it out so there are also other ways to to, to, to remove this nitrate from the system that is live plants if you have live plants in your tank Sorry, I'm not, a, I'm not really good at drawing. So, live plants will also consume your nitrates. Okay? Live plants will also consume your nitrates. And so, therefore, if you have more live plants in your system, then nitrates will, will be consumed. So, no problem. But you also need to do regular water change. Regular water change is a very important task that a fish keeper should do. So that's all guys, I hope you liked this uh, simple video tutorial of uh, this nitrogen cycle. I appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my channel for more future uploads. Thank you so much and uh, happy fish keeping.